Hello, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, remember to hit that subscribe button or also the notification bell. We're going to do the reads for the month of August for the signs. And we're going to do Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio. All right, my water signs, that's what we're doing today. So a lot of you, um, I can pick up straight away. We remember we're in a major, major transformational month. We have two super full moons. We have the eight, eight Lionsgate. I think we've got a new moon. We've got so many. We've got retrogrades, Venus retrogrades. We've got it all happening. Why? Why are you going through this to clean out, clean up anything that is not to be in your future, that is blocking your blessings, blocking your rewards and blocking the abundance that the universe wants to bring in and send you forward, okay, into your north node. So yes, to clean up and clean out does create some chaos. For some of you, legal, 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 I can hear it. Legal, legal, legal. We'll have a little look at this, but let's get a message out for the collective month of August. Validation, clarification, getting a bit tired now, guys. Maybe you're feeling tired. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Now, that could be my legal, legal, legal. Now, money, security, stability, my foundation, my money, my business. Yes, the cards are up the right way. So you're not feeling the abundance, the growth, the security, or the stability. So you know what's going to happen. The universe is going to change that for you. So one is very guarded, very protected, um, or needs to. Oh, we've got a lot of family stuff going on this month, guys. A lot. And not just family, it could be business, it could be money, it's basically what you're built on, okay? It, it will affect relationships, families, connections, they're in business, they're in families, everything. Yeah, the security, stability, foundation. We've got some reminiscing. Nine of Pentacles, this is coming out a lot. Same message is coming out a lot. Different deck, different deck, not using the same deck. Came out for the last read, moving forward. Isn't that interesting? That came out in the last deck as well. Strength. You are getting a reset. I knew it. Everything that is being shaken, taken, turned up, upside down, restructured, Reevaluated. you probably need to guard yourself or you might be being too guarded, too paranoid, too tight, too resistant. So when we're in fear, you know, oh my God, oh my God, it can't be the rent, it can't be the rent. When we're in that, guys, it's, it's resistant energy. So you're actually creating the resistance. Remember that. You've got to open up. You've got to trust. The universe is just trying to bring you the reset world card, the new paradigm, the new set, the new cycle. You've got to get in. You've got to move forward. Do not hang on to anything or anyone that is not stable, secure, that you can no longer build with or build a lifetime or a legacy in. Move on. Don't reminisce about it. Ten of Cups. Happiness is coming back in, contentment and happiness. If you've lost that, we have the King of Cups here. That, that is usually someone very nurturing, caring, loving, giving. It can be romance for those of you who are looking for romance. If you're um, not happy or, or this is someone who will look after you. If you haven't had that before, someone's coming in who will look after you. Magician and the Six of Cups. Yeah, be careful what you're manifesting. Well, we've got the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups out here. All right. So here's the mass message. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a community of people, like business or a community. It seems like whatever was going on there, it will be resolved and we've got support here and spiritual support and you will be able to build a foundation, build a, you know, build on it and 
sorted because the universe is overseeing this person, single, independent, self-sufficient, hardworking, um, stands on their own two feet, protected by the divine, also divine timing. This is, this is the classic read, whether it's money, finances, groups, associations, or love. Basically, what has not been going well is going to end. People are being removed from your life. Your, your foundation has been tipped upside down or the way you do things or run things can no longer run like that or you can't run like that. You know, you can't... You have to make changes. You have to change the way you do things. You're manifesting this sort of, you know, where I can grow and flourish or love, if it's love for those. For those of you it's love, you're meeting your partner, you are. But this person, I keep jumping, because what some of you are straight up finances and home and security and stability and business. For others of you, the love thing, you're, you're meeting your divine counterpart. We've got the King and Queen of Cups. They want to commit. They want to come together. There's divine timing. One of you, I would say the Queen of Cups is single, you know, stands on her own. It has, has the Nine of Pentacles. The only thing she's missing or he's missing is a relationship, is the love of their life. And it looks like they're coming in. So don't be too guarded because they're coming in. And there's the new beginning, overflowing abundance and love moving forward. Sun card, success, happiness, joy. And there's the reset over her heartbreak. So I don't know whether it is love or whether it is business money, your foundation, your security, what you're built on, someone's coming in here. Someone's coming in to offer the support, the nurture that you have not had. You are manifesting this six of cups is about, I want something I can grow and give to others or a community or, you know, and someone's been really hitting your foundation. Now, that can be our, our romantic foundation, our home. It can, be, um, it can be your business. It's basically what you're building. So whatever's missing, for some of you, it's it's the money, security, stability. It's coming, divine timing. Spirit's going to, you are going to be fine, standing on your own two feet. You've got people and support coming in here. It's all moving forward with the Ace of Cups, the Chariot. For some card success overall, strength and courage now to move past the past. And I think that's the most important thing, whether it's money, business or love, move past the hurt, move past reset your energy it was all about lessons cycles closing out cycles and cleaning out the enemies the frenemies the the toxics the people who weren't really working for you or with you and that's what spirit did yep victory coming in the empress well for some of you moon or rising you are going to release burden and get over this hurt pain suffering betrayals and you definitely get a new cycle the end of august into september there is an absolute ending if you are single if you are alone if you've been alone if you you are saying universe where is it well they're coming you can't see it and you're going to be very defensive somebody has their eye on an empress. Um, so there's definitely love coming in here and they're coming in to get their Ten of Cups, their victory. Um, whereas this Queen of Cups is just, your whole life's going to change and vice versa. Now, the other thing with that King of Cups and Empress, it could be you could be ready to birth a new... Um, empire you know career job and you're being asked to be mindful of your emotions when you do so if this is business and you're ready to birth a business remember we must be passionate it's going to be something with the king of cups that we love that's spiritual that we're connected that we have a genuine love and interest in 
but also, um, you know, watch your pentacles, like watch who you're letting in to that. Yeah, watch who you're letting into that. That's what I'm getting. Mm. That was a lesson for some with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, God. For some of you who felt alone, abandoned, betrayed, Nine of Swords in, in mental, emotional, physical, spiritual despair, alone, abandoned, you've been healing and the past is now behind you. You're clear, you've made a decision or vice versa and, and it's all moving forward. You've, you have been in the battle. You've been in the big war, big battle, whether it's internally or externally or the world around you, but you are now moving forward. The hand of the divine says, we cleared your path up. Not only of people, places and situations, but we've cleared you up. You needed to heal some emotions. You needed to change the way you were doing things. And now the path opens up. Now there's decisions. Yeah, you had to see the devil or the devil around you or the devils around you or your toxicity, your codependence, your limiting beliefs, your, I don't know, addictions. We've, you know, there's a whole list of these things. You will know what it is for you individually, but... Um, I feel like you, you're just still processing it and then you're going to move forward because there is a divine timing and activation here where the universe will bring you that piece of information, money, contract. Pentacles are tangible, something tangible now that you can move forward in. I, I am seeing that a lot in, in most of the readings, to be honest, guys. Um, it's kind of, I'll call it, it feels like... Just grenade after grenade, tower after tower is falling. You know, tornado after tornado has come through our lives. And it is just the mass awakening, the mass um, clearing so that we can really get in alignment and, and our blessings can come through. And, and to reset, you know, re and you see illusions all the illusions are being cleared. Anything in the dark, anything you needed to see has and will be revealed by the divine. This is a message, conversation, email, text, uh, something set up by spirit about your new beginning. And it is going to illuminate. It is and or has illuminated everything. All the manipulators, everything. And all spirit's doing is protecting you and closing out a Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords is how you have been through it in whatever way. And that cycle is ending because wherever you've been or whatever is now coming undone, that you can no longer grow there anymore. That is the universe saying, no, we can no longer grow there anymore. Okay. All right. Take care. It's a good read. We're getting the reset. It, it just... Deceit, deception, trickery, you have wish fulfillment over that. Moving forward, calm of orders, and here's your new reset leap of faith, trusting the universe, the full, the reset cycle. Yep, that's what's happening. Claim it, understand it, do your emotional work though, because with that three of swords, I want you to really clean up the emotions because it, it may be for some of you creating resistance. Okay, okay, take care, bye.